you see the carbon-carbon double bond here in the positive charge there, you cannot go directly to the positive charge. I don't know how many times I can trust that, but don't do that. OK. And instead, let's see what happens when you do this instead. OK? So I'm going to erase this. And I want you to think about it if you weren't able to come up with the structure. OK? So what's going to change now? OK. So think about it. I'm going to tell you the answer, so pause me if you need to. Uh, just think about where did these two electrons go, OK? Uh, they are now here, OK? Because that's what that arrow says. And they made a new double bond or pi bond, OK? And the positive charge is definitely gone now <coughs> because that carbon got a electron. And the positive charge is actually where? Well, this carbon lost electrons. So that's where the positive charge is. OK, cool. All right. So let's see what happened. Yeah, here we are. Did you guys get this resonance structure? Resonance structure? If so, good. If not, now you know. OK, so let's keep going. Um, let's see. Pa, pa, pa. What's next? What do we do? Keep this in mind. And remember, focus on the charges. So let's fix this positive charge. And not, let's not do this, because then that'll bring us back to the beginning. Okay? So the nearest source of electrons is this pi bond, because this one's kind of far away, and this lone pair is kind of far too. So let's do this. Pop, pop. Remember, to the bond, not to the charge. Okay? And why not to the charge? No response from anybody. Cool. OK, but yeah, because then the positive charge becomes negative, And then you create two positive charges. Yeah, I've been tutoring a little too much. OK, so then what's going to happen? Just like before, draw your backbone. Whatever changed or moved, don't draw it. Draw whatever stays the, stays the same. All right, so yeah, that's the backbone, all right? Positive charge, is it still there? No, it is not, because two electrons from here basically hopped, boom, over here. So there is, there's your two electrons. They formed a pi bond. That carbon got, got an electron, so it can't be positive anymore. This carbon still has that one electron, but this carbon lost an electron, because so positive charge there. Kapow. All right. I'll let you guys take it away now. What's next? What do you think? Take a guess. I'm about to tell you. So hit pause if you need to. There's actually two things you can do now, which is kind of fun. So what I'm going to do is resonance arrow. Let's see. Resonance arrow this way. Resonance arrow this way. This is one way you can do it um, on the uh, test or on your homework. You should probably ask your TF what you should do in this situation, actually, and see what they prefer or your professor prefers, because they're the ones that are grading. But Jancy Despain, who's another YouTube educator, she has an awesome channel that I'll have a link down below or annotation somewhere in here. She actually uh, suggested this for me to mention in the video, but uh, her method was actually using letters, which I really liked. So. Here, you can move this pi bond and go over here. So let's do like this, OK? Who chose that one? All right, that's good. Let's just keep going in the circle. So I'll call this um, A, resonance A, or electron movement A. Or there are lone pairs here that are left out purposely, purposely that you can move over here so that one electron, only one, goes to the carbon, not two, OK? To fix that. And we'll call that resonance B. Pa -pa. OK. Sure you got that? Because that part was kind of crazy. Or I think, I think it might be kind of crazy for if you're just learning it. So if you, if you have questions, feel free to ask them down below. OK? Next, um, pa -pa. let's do it. Let's show what the A resonance would give us and what the B resonance would give us. And so far, we've gotten two resonance structures. So great job if you got it. 
Uh, great job if you're following along and understand what I'm saying. Hopefully I'm making sense. Okay, all right. And if you are wondering, like, why did I do that? Am I breaking the oxygen's octet? I'm not. Uh, I'll explain why in the next part. Well, I guess I'll explain right now, too. So these two electrons are going to be in the bond. So technically, oxygen is still surrounded by eight electrons because it would be two, four, six, um, if you count the two in the OH bond. And then these two are eight. They're in the bond, so they're shared. So technically, oxygen still has eight, eight electrons around it in its octet, OK? All right, next, draw the backbones, and then we'll regroup, OK? I kind of confused myself a little bit with the A and B, so yeah. OK, yeah, it might be a little confusing when you draw the backbones, but try it out. Once you do it once, this method will make more sense to you, OK? It's really useful when you have one resonance structure that can have two possible resonances, and you can go down two different routes. Another option that you can do is to just redraw this molecule again. And on this structure, do this, do A or do B, and then get do that. And on this structure, just do A. So it's a little more clean. You can do that too. I have taught some students to do that. But so it's totally up to you which you prefer. Okay, let's keep going and get the backbones. Okay, this should be what you guys get for the backbones. Um, for A, I left out the lone pairs and the positive charge. Uh, no, hold on. <laughs> for, let me, f okay. For A, <laughs> okay. Jeez, this is gonna be a long ass video. Okay, so for A, um, I left out this pi bond because we know we moved it. Uh, we know the positive charge is gone. So, just like before, these two electrons here are now here. So two, those two electrons are now here and here, and they make the pi bond. Boom. Positive charge is gone. Where did it go? Well, this carbon no longer has that electron. So positivo charge. All right. And then for this one here, uh, what happened? Uh, I did not touch this one because nothing moved if we do like just the B resonance arrow. Everything else is still here. So now there is, these two electrons are now here, boom, boom. It's in the pi bond, or in the double bond. Positive charge is gone, but this time it's a little different. Where is it? Well, oxygen lost an electron. So that positive charge is now on the oxygen, meaning he's missing some electrons, OK? And just one electron. He's not missing two. It looks like two left, but this one is kind of still there. And then don't get me started with the octet thing, because uh, formal charge and octet calculations are a little bit different. So, yeah, just bear with me. <laughs> okay, um, anyways, yeah, look at that. We have one, two, three, four uh, resonance structures already. All we're missing is our last one. Yeah, do another one here. Um. So, take a look, and what do you think that last one is? Okay, all right, we're almost done with this video. The last one is this structure right here. What you can do here is actually use this pi bond, two electrons, boom. And there you go. That's your last uh, resonance structure. You don't want to go backwards because then you'll, you're just going to be going backwards to these resonance structures, and they won't be count as new resonance structures. Don't come in, janitor. Um, all right. <laughs> OK. See if you can mix me. Who can draw the structure first, faster? I'm um, losing it. Okay. Yeah, I've said this so many times in this video. You're probably sick of me. Uh, where's the positive charge? Uh, where's the pi bond? New pi bond, whatnot. It's right here, because those two electrons went poop, poop. Okay. They did not take a poop, but yep. Uh, positive charge is back now at that original spot. So that looks very, very similar to our original starting resonance structure, right? But it's not the same structure because the pi bonds have moved. Okay. So, yeah, B 
these are the five structures. One, two, three, four, five. Um, remember, never ever move the pi bond to the charge. Never ever do that unless it's a scenario like this. To go backwards, it's OK to start from the pi bond and go to the charge because you're only giving the oxygen. Um, yeah, I should probably explain this. The oxygen already has one of these electrons, right? So if you do this, it's OK. Because oxygen's really only getting one electron in this scenario, OK? Because it's going to go back. These two electrons are going to go back there. Oxygen is going to lose the positive charge, OK? But in this scenario, it's no good because carbon's getting two electrons, OK? Not one. Very important, OK? Cha-cha. Ooh, heartburn or something. But um, <clears throat> yeah, um, I think what I will do in the future, hopefully not in a year, is I'm going to make a resonance video on a similar thing, but we're going to work with a molecule that has a negative charge instead. So this way you can see how I think about that one. OK? Anyways, I'm pretty sure this video has already gone on long enough. So um, yep, so um, bloops. I don't have time to pause. Where's the pause button? A little head tilt there. Here I go. All right, so. Uh, like that one. Okay. I don't need no stinking pause button. <laughs> <laughs>